Hello! So I can finally render images and videos as Minecraft terrain. And unlike the previous version, which only worked with black and white, this one works with all colors. Well, 11 colors, but that's pretty much all of them. Um, as you can see here, it looks kind of almost normal from ground height. Like, you have a forest here, you have a mesa, but of course if you fly up, you will see that this is an image. In fact, this is Il Mango's intro, and I have a lot of them. It's a video. Once again, I'll be releasing this mod when I hit 1,000 subscribers, so make sure to subscribe, guys. Now, this mod can have a lot of uses, not just for making silly intros like what I'll be doing, but you could also just draw some terrain and use that to build a map, or you can just use it for, like, again, you could use this for anything. You can make any picture or any video. So I'll show you how I did this real quick. So first of all, you want to get a bunch of frames or pictures. So for example, I've Bad Apple here, and they're all named Frame with a number after them. And you can see this is the entire Bad Apple music video. And uh, here's Bad Sandwich. And lastly, here's it for El Mango. And you can turn an mp4 into a bunch of frames simply by using VLC Media Player. I tried adding it to the mod, but it kept crashing, so I gave up. But yeah, you do slash image world, start, and for a video, it's folder. You put your folder path, the name you want to save it as, and any dimension you want. Except for this would be way easier to show if I did a picture. So I'm going to fly to some random spot right now. Like this nice little mountain area. I'm just gonna get a random picture real quick. Like here's a rainbow, I'll just use this one. And you're going to want to copy its path. So once again, image world, start, file. And this one has an incomplete path, but I guess this will make it kind of easier to show. First of all, you want it to have parentheses around it. Everything must have a double slash. And we could just put the name of it here. So great, there is our path. We can save it as a video name or just image name. I'll call it rainbow. Doesn't need to be anything special. And you could specify any dimensions that you want, but I'm gonna to try to keep it accurate. This one is 108 by 105. So I'll go 108, 105 and it'll start. So the first pass that it does, it will just edit the terrain to its height, and its second pass, it will add the color. So yes, two passes right now, and you can see here is the image I took, and here is what it created. Kind of like a coliseum, it's like a border wall. It's actually really cool. Now there's still a lot of things that need to be fixed, but to be honest, so far this is pretty good. And I hope this just shows like what you can do with this mod, because this could be like 20 times bigger if you wanted, and you just have this cool map that you could play in. Once again, I still somehow need to fix the water problem, because finding a good height for it out of terrain is kind of difficult. I might just leave it all at Y50, or like 64, no matter what, but for now I think it's okay. So once again, there are still some major problems with it. In fact, I'm just going to set the calm loading speed to be really slow. I'm going to do it a second time, just to kind of show. But currently, it all starts at the top of the picture, and goes down from there which means it saves like the entire picture all in one frame at once. And you can kind of see, this is clamping the terrain height. This is just for like taking the picture, 
because having mountains in the frames was kind of difficult, to say the least. I'm just going to speed this up real quick. But yeah, this would be way too laggy for giant pictures right now, so I still have to kind of fix that. And here you can see it removed all of the trees and every other feature. So now it is just going spot by spot and adding the new terrain. It's kind of like a world painter going over it. And once again, here we have yet another pretty cool picture. It's like a moat central island. And yeah. Now another cool thing is that I completely control what biomes are made. And currently there's 11. And this mesa is completely made from scratch. I just put a bunch of random terracotta for each height using mod, and it made this pretty cool pattern. So like, for example, I can make like a diamond biome, or I can make a lava biome, or pretty much anything. And I still need to add color to the nether dimension. And lastly, once again, since this goes top down, big pictures would probably crash your game. So I still need to add a way that will make it less laggy. And uh, yeah, I'll be working on this, but I have another project that I want to work on as well which is my new coding IDE. And I got the help of James, so hopefully I make a lot of progress soon. It'll be really cool. Its goal will be to make a coding editor that works with every single coding language as long as it uses text. So I'll update you guys on that pretty soon. But yeah, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.